Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with caviar, fish, and chips. That's right. Everybody say row. Everybody say trout row. And that's because that's what's starring in this amazing Oscar night party hors d'oeuvre special. And there it is. Trout caviar, also known as trout row, also known as trout pearls. And what this gorgeous product's going to allow us to do is to serve Academy Awards quality appetizers on a Spirits Award budget. And if you've never worked with caviar before, this is a great place to start. It has a beautiful, fresh, clean, briny flavor. And even more importantly, it's fairly inexpensive. This should only run you about $12 an ounce. And a little bit really does go a long way. And by the way, in case you're wondering, that spoon is made from Mother of Pearl, which if I'm not mistaken is the wife of Father of Pearl. But anyway, the point is you're not supposed to use metal spoons with caviar. All right, so we got two ounces of trout caviar, and we're also going to need something to put these on. And I'm going to use these, popped potato chips. And you can definitely use regular potato chips. I've done so many times. But because of how these are made and because they're kind of puffed, they got a little bit of air inside, which makes them a little lighter, a little less salty. And the other nice thing is almost all these are going to be usable. Of course, you're going to go through and do a little quality control. I mean, that one's not good enough. And then in addition to our trout row and our potato crisps, we're going to need to pipe on a little bit of sour cream. And no, I don't want you to dirty your piping bag. Just take a small plastic sandwich bag, put in a spoon of sour cream. We'll push that down into one of the corners. And then we'll take some scissors and we'll snip the tip. And we'll get rid of that so nobody eats it and sues us. And then you're going to have a very neat, very simple way to pipe sour cream on a whole bunch of these potato crisps very quickly. Except don't do it on the cutting board like that. Pick up each chip and pipe it like this, much easier. So I'm going to go ahead and just do 12 for the purposes of filming and also for the purposes of an afternoon snack. And once those bases are set up, we're going to go ahead and spoon over our caviar. And I'm going to be pretty generous here. What you see me putting on here is just over a gram per bite. And if you're a fan of interesting textures, you are going to love this. It's one of the few things I can think of that has both a slippery and a sticky texture at the same time. So anyway, go around and top those with as little or as much caviar as you want. And then once that's done, the last step is going to be to garnish these with a little bit of chive. And if I may, one subtle but important tip, try to get the chive just on the caviar. If you just have it on the caviar and not all over the chips, it's really going to kind of focus the eye to the center. And it's really going to make that color contrast kind of pop off the plate. Or if you just scatter the chives everywhere, you're just not going to have that same effect. And once those are garnished, you're going to go ahead and transfer those onto some award show quality platter or tray. And those trout caviar fish and chips are done and ready to consume. And they are ridiculously good. I mean, I could eat these like potato chips and did. And also, just FYI, I did a second batch and used half the amount of caviar. And they still were amazing. And I think would be a sensation at any Oscars party. Which reminds me, the envelope, please. And the award for best hors d'oeuvre in a straight-to-video romantic comedy goes to... Chef John from Food Wishes. Oh my, thank you so much. This is such an honor. I'd like to thank the Academy and, oh shoot, I hear the piano music. That means my time is up. Anyway, if you were trying to come up with a very fancy looking, amazing tasting and relatively frugal order for your Oscar night party, I really hope you give these a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.